Hi, I'm Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk, Sarah Listens. Today I'm going to talk to you about the command come. When your dog hears come, it should make them really excited. It should get the tail wagging and get them skipping over to you, happy to move on to the next adventure. For a lot of dogs though, they think of come as a, it's kind of a downer. They get overwhelmed or they're not sure what to do. And the reason why this is, is a lot of people turn come into a power struggle or they turn into frantic lunatics and get so frustrated that their dog's not listening right away that the dogs get really confused. They're not sure what to do and they stay away. The goal of teaching a come command is that it should mean togetherness and reassurance, not separation. This three-part exercise starts with name recognition. In today's episode, I'm going to show you fun and clever exercises to do so when your dog hears his name, he'll alert happily to your voice. The best way to teach come is to introduce the command with games and playful interactions. Play training is an essential tool for teaching and reinforcing desired behavior. Just don't tell your dog it's really a lesson. What's all fun and games to your dog is really a well choreographed training exercise. I love to use games to establish a positive association to your dog's name. Remember if you're working outside in an unconfined area, keep your dog on a long lead or flexi lead to keep him safe and happy. Now we're going to go over some of my favorite games to play. first game we're going to play, we're going to play with the treat cup. And Tangle already associates the treat cup with getting a reward, which is step one. And then what I want you to do is call Tango's name as you run away from him. So he hears his name and thinks, oh, mommy's going on an adventure. I want to follow her. So I'm going to do it. And then you can give it a try. Hey, Tango! Tango! Good boy, Tango! Good dog! We haven't introduced the command come yet. We're just focusing on Tango thing. Tango! Tango! Good dog, Tango. So even his name should magnetize him to your side. Want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Tango! Tango! Go ahead and kneel down. Good boy, Tango. Good boy. And play the game running back. Tango! Tango! Good boy. And Tango's loving every minute of it. Good job. Good Next, once he has that game down pat, you could call him back and forth with a friend or with your spouse and say, Tango, go to Daddy. Daddy can shake the cup. He can run back and forth. And you can play hide and seek. When you play hide and seek, the best thing to do is let him get a little distracted, let him sniff around, take your tree cup and just duck behind a bush or a tree, and then call out his name in the same way. Here, just lean down and pet him so he doesn't really see me disappear. Here, take him over there just a smidge so he's uh, angled off site. Good. And just give him some pats so he's focused on you. Tango! Tango! Good boy! Good Tango! You found me! So there are some fun ways you can use your tree cup to help him uh, establish a positive association to his name. That's game one. Now the next game we're going to play, we don't need the tree cup per se. You could use the tree cup or you could use a toy or you could just play the game. It's what I call the voice toss. Okay, the first voice toss game I want you to play, I want you to play with one of Tango's favorite toys. So I'm going to squeak it and then I'm going to throw my voice in the opposite direction and scurry away like I found a really fun thing in the next room or across the yard. Tango! Tango! Good dog, Tango! And then I release Tango's thumb. And if I'm doing it with food, it's the same thing. But the key thing is to not call over him and repetitively say Tango, 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 so that he feels overwhelmed. It's to throw your voice and run in the opposite direction so the Tango feels excited to follow. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Great. Tango! Pick up the line and come on back. Tango wants to hang out in the sun. Tango! Good puppy, good puppy. Good Tango, good dog. <laughs> 
The next game is what's in the grass. Dogs love it. It kind of mocks an older dog who's always interested in other things. So what you do while you're out in the yard or you're, you've taken Tango out on his long line is you pretend you found something in the grass, like a mouse or a bug or something, and you start like pretending like you're digging and you're all excited about it without looking at him at all. Now what he's going to do is notice that you found a really exciting thing and he's going to trot over and as he does, said Tango really enthusiastically. That name recognition is so important and then praise him for showing interest. Here, I'll show you how it's done. Hey, what did I find? What did I find? What did I find? Hi, Tango. Good boy. Good Tango. Good dog. And if I have a treat, I can give it to him or, or a toy, but I don't have to. My, my praise and love is reward enough. Want to give it a go? Sure. And the last game that's fun to play, you always play with toys. And what you basically do is you never want to play with one because then you're competing over one thing. And what results is kind of a power struggle, especially with young adolescent dogs. So always play with two. And you always cop the attitude that, oh, you've got a great toy, but I have a better one. When Tango runs over to you, you shout out Tango's name and you give him the second toy while you go and pick up the first. Ready to play? What Tango? What Tango? Oh, good dog, Tango. <gasps> Good dog. Look what I have. I have the better one. You ready to give it a shot? Here we go. Look what I have. Look at my toy. Good dog, Tango. Good boy. Good dog. I got the one. Look. 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 And shout out his name, Tango. Tango. And toss the toy. Tango. So the tango feels rewarded and happy every time he hears his name. Great job! Okay, let's take a wrap on today's lesson. Call your dog's name cheerfully. Play games to ensure a positive association to their name. And don't stare or overcommand your dog. Remember, dog training should be fun. Thanks for watching today's video. Come, name recognition. I'm Sarah Hodgson, and when dogs talk, I listen.